In this video, we are going to be installing and setting up IntelliJ IDEA, which is the main technology that we're going to use in CS15 to write, compile, and run all of our code. For more information about what IntelliJ is and how we're going to use it, please refer to the Installing IntelliJ slide deck, which you can find on the course website. So the first step in installing IntelliJ and, and preparing for writing code in this course is downloading Java. And for CS15, we need to use Java 8. So you can click on the link in the slide deck and it should take you to this page, which is on the Oracle website. You can scroll down and basically figure out which computer you have. Um, for Mac, it's gonna be Mac OS 64. Um, if you have Windows, it's gonna be one of these two. But once you figure out what architecture you have, you can just download Java for that architecture. You might be asked to sign into Oracle. If so, you can just make an account. The email address has to be real, but other than that, it doesn't really matter. And then once you do this, Java should be downloading. Once Java is downloaded, you can install it. And then once you have installed Java, you're going to want to open up a terminal on your computer and you're going to want to run the command java space dash version. And if you have a Java version that begins with 1.8, you did the step correctly and now you have Java installed on your computer. Okay, so the next step is actually getting the CS15 project folder, which you can do just by clicking the link and downloading. So once you have the CS15 folder downloaded, we recommend that you put it on your desktop just for easy access. If the folder is still zipped, you can double click it to unzip it. Next, you need to make a JetBrains account to basically get access to the ulti like IntelliJ Ultimate, which is like the full version of IntelliJ. And so you can create a JetBrains account by clicking on this link and basically registering as per these instructions. Once you've registered, you can apply for a free student license by clicking this button that will be on the JetBrains website. And then you can scroll down and actually fill out the application. Um, and once you have submitted your application, you should have the JetBrains pack for students, which includes IntelliJ IDEA. Just a side note, you will also need to have a GitHub account for this course, and you can make a GitHub account by going to github.com and pressing sign up. For this one, make sure that your username and password are things that you will definitely remember and sign up with your brown email address. Um, we will be using GitHub frequently throughout the course, and so you will need to know your username and password frequently. Okay, now it is time to actually install IntelliJ, and you can do that by clicking the link in the Installing IntelliJ presentation, and it'll take you to this website. Then you can click Download under Ultimate and just download IntelliJ IDEA. Once IntelliJ is downloaded, you can install it and then open the app. Okay, so it should take you to a user agreement, which you can just confirm. Now it's time to activate IntelliJ, which you can do by logging into the JetBrains account. Um, this just basically allows you to get IntelliJ Ultimate, um, not the free version. This page, you can then press customize um, and press import settings. Navigate to the CS15 folder and select settings.zip and press OK. Okay, so now it's time to actually create the CS15 project. So you can click file, open, um, and then open the CS15 folder. Then if you press project, you should be able to see CS15 and the project over here. Next, we have to make sure that the IntelliJ configurations are correct. So press file and then press project structure, which should take you to this page. Then press project. And we now have to check basically our project SDK 
and our project compiler output. So the compiler output should be your basically the path of your CS15 folder followed by slash out. If this is not the case, you can press this little button over here, navigate to your CS15 folder and then add a slash out. The project SDK should say 1.8 and it should be in gray. So mine is in red. So the way to fix this is go to SDKs. If there are any listed, um, just press the little like minus sign to get rid of them. Then press plus, press detected SDKs, press apply, and then go back to project and select the SDK that you just detected. Make sure after any change that you make, you're always pressing the apply button before you press okay. Once our project settings are okay, we're going to move on to modules. And what we need to do in modules is then go to dependencies and ensure that CS15 support jar is listed here. If CS15 support jar is listed, that's great. If not, press the plus sign, go to jars or directories, and then navigate to the CS15 support jar, which will be in your CS15 folder. Again, after any change you make, press apply and OK. Congratulations, you have successfully set up IntelliJ. If you had any problems with any steps throughout the process, do check out the Piazza mega thread for local setup and feel free to come to ours. If everything went well, you are now ready to actually start coding. Your first experience actually coding in IntelliJ will be in Lab Zero, so check that out for more information.